This is Twit. Let's, uh, oh, I did, okay, so I do want to ask you about a home automation thing. All right. Matter? Uh, it is matter, as a matter of fact. Uh, TP-Link has announced new switches, light switches, mm -hmm. that are, they're Wi-Fi light switches, uh, but they are matter. And I thought, now they're 25 bucks each, and I was thinking, and I asked my wife, I said, if I, uh, would you mind if I replaced all of the light switches in the house with uh -oh. these TP-Link switches? And she said in a very, right there. And it, well, she said an important thing. She says, what happens when the Wi-Fi goes out? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. If you are messing, and I will tell you, I've literally been doing this now for 10 years and experimenting with That's why I wasn't going to buy it till I talked to you. You bet. The only way you should make your light switches smart is via Lutron. I'm so sorry. You have to buy the Lutron hub if you do it. But pop those babies, babies in. They don't support matter yet. I really hope they will one day. Most reliable, most functional, freaking expensive, but they support because nope. like these don't support three-way switches, for example. Yeah, you don't is, want that. They do have dimmers, but this is exactly what Jason. You Snell have to said. buy a dimmer or an right. on-off. Right. Don't. The, I mean, they're they're relatively inexpensive at like twenty-five bucks for the switch, and yep. I think it's twenty-eight bucks for the dimmer. Yep. They're matter certified. With Wi-Fi, if your Wi-Fi goes out, you can still use the the switch and go bloop 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 bloop. You're gonna have to double hit it probably to make sure. It but you could turn the lights off. Or not. Although Jason said with the cassettes, the Lutron cassettes, uh, they work just like a regular switch does. Yeah, that's why. Just go with Lutron. It's so freaking reliable. I mean, I wish I. I'm I'm still waiting for a technology that's better than that. And so far, no. Just so the Lutron thing. All of the way. course, the thing that got my eye was matter. Because then I don't need a special hub. It will work with other Matter devices. I think if I'm going to go home automation in the long run, I should have everything be Matter compliant. Yes, and I think Lutron will eventually support Matter if it becomes necessary. But for the reliability, for the ease of programming and use, and everything works with Lutron, basically. I mean, Google does, Amazon does, HomeKit. Even HomeKit, know, just, even Apple, yeah. Has Lutron responded just, to any... Uh, questions oh, I ask them like every week and they, they just, yeah, I'm like, just go quiet hey can't you tell me if you're going to matter they're like no news on that front yet Stacy oh spin huh you'll be the first to know <laughs> <laughs> like oh. so I promised Lisa I wouldn't do it until I talked to Stacy and yeah, don't uh, do it. and then Jason said no don't do it now it is the Lutron switches uh are, are a little more expensive <laughs> um the 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 TP link uh are uh 25 bucks and they yeah, these are like I bought mine that. for like forty five, I think. Wow. Um, yeah, they have the a cool bigger variety of switches. Though. This is this is yeah. the kind of switch I have in my house now. Uh, oh, the 73. Rockers? Yeah, it's a rocker with. Uh, and this okay, is a yeah, dimmer. don't buy them on Amazon. Just go to Home Depot, okay. and you can buy like a, a ten pack for a okay. more reasonable amount. That's what I'll do then. Okay. <laughs> While and we're you will in need shopping a hub. with. And I'll need a hub, but I don't mind having a, I have a Hue hub. I don't mind. I, yeah. The problem is right now I have to have Hue lights in everything I want to control with my voice. What I'd like to do is be able to have all the switches be voice controllable. Um, one of the things that. You know, oh. Go ahead. If you are using Hue and you have, now Lutron makes a device that you can like literally, and I think I just threw mine away. Um, well, you that's can put good. it on your toggle <laughs> switch. So you have rockers, so that's not going to work. If you have a toggle switch, they make a device. No, I don't want to. I don't want to Rube Goldberg. I want to unscrew. And by the way, you need a ground wire, mm -hmm. which I have. I checked. Do you need it? So I have three wires. Uh, so, but what I want to do is I want to uh, that you couldn't tell that I've done this, right? Yeah. And Lisa could still go up to the switch, turn it on, turn it off. She won't know, but I will know that I can then open my phone and turn all the lights on or off in the house and that kind of thing. Yeah, just get Lutron. And they actually have a device. They actually have one that doesn't require a ground. I can't remember which, like, P64 or 5 or whatever version of it is. But right. if you have well, a neutral I have, wire, just... I have ground. I have neutral yeah. everywhere. I checked. Sorry, not ground. Neutral wire. Sorry. Yeah. If you have a neutral wire, just get the ones with the neutral wire. Okay. But, yeah, Lutron. 63 bucks compared to 25 bucks. Again, Sorry. go to Home Depot. I'll go to Home Depot. I don't need or the wall. Or, I don't need the wall Lowe's. plate. I just need the switch. I got a wall. I'll use the existing wall plate and then... 
put the uh, rocker in the wall plate. Okay. All right. That's well, why you are shopping here. Shopping with Leo and Stacy. Shopping Stacey, with can I Leo ask an and Stacy. Question. Yes. <laughs> and buy them um, all at once. And okay. when you buy them all at once, just get your electrician to come out and install them. I mean, I can if you're going to do them all, I can do it. Oh man, what? Oh, your fingers. Do you have to turn got, off the power like, before you uh, do this? Yes, yes. yes. Please do not wire this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, actually, no. Please do this. No. Is, no. This, is, this is a this is a hundred and twenty volts. I mean, it if I wear rubber sole shoes, would that be no, okay? No, no, no. Go, you go right ahead. Let me know when you do it. it. Will I'll, be bring, I'll bring the twit cameras. It will be <laughs> unpleasant. <laughs> okay, buzzing How, Leo. And oh, and the other thing, if you have three way switches, yes. What's a three way switch? Like if you have a switch in your kitchen that on one side of your kitchen that controls your kitchen and on the other side you have a switch. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. The we have lights. lots of three-way switches. So, yeah. So for those, oh, so the TP link wouldn't even work for you because they don't actually support three-way oh. switches. Well, then forget it. But with Lutron, you're gonna want to do the smart switch in one spot, and then you'll get the like little Pico remote, and you'll install that where the three-way portion is. Uh, we already have some video of me doing the uh, <laughs> install here, and I, I think it, you're flashing right. Flashing light warning. It, it might, yes. On the video. It might, yeah, flashing light warning. <laughs> <laughs> Seal of approval from Aunt Pruitt. All right. Well, this is good. This is why, I, uh, you know, this is why I do the show, so I can ask the smartest people in the room uh, big questions like that. And me. Big questions. Could you consult <laughs> on my home lighting project? It sounds like I probably shouldn't do this. It sounds like trouble big time oh no it's great you know what we actually use lights in our house instead of shouting at my kid so and i programmed wait a minute uh, wait a minute, a wait a minute. you better explain how that works light signals so like to get attention like downstairs you blink their lights? Kid is downstairs you blink, i blink their lights blink their lights <laughs> and break waffles they know, she does, she does morse know, code do you do morse yeah you go on off on off off no off, no no, no. i just it's just a little on off and the cool and then thing they go is, oh mom wants me and they come downstairs I've, I've seen several yeah. parents. Well, there. they come upstairs, yeah. Oh, that's And nice. it's nice because we're not shouting at it. It's like come to dinner, whatever. And then you can do it. So I have a little remote that controls both the downstairs lights, the lights in their room. And then oh, that's cool. I even set up one in my husband's room now. So now I have separate remotes to like call various people. <laughs> do you Two are, blinks, bring waffle. <laughs> Three blinks. <laughs> my mom, when I was a kid, because she got tired of shouting, dinner. Got a little bell and rings it. And now every time I hear a little bell, my mouth Oh, well, you're an animal. That's why. <laughs> I'll just call you Pavlov. <laughs> hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twip which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.